Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and for this review we're going to take a look at the entire wave of McFarlane DC Multiverse The Flash movie figures. Um, I've already reviewed Batfleck and the unmasked Michael Keaton, so we will probably not spend too much time on those two, but let's go ahead and dive into all of the other figures in this assortment. So starting off with the Dark Flash, so here is his lovely trading card like the artwork on there, so the styling of the artwork in the packages all together. Uh, there's the bio that doesn't give too much information, so you won't be spoiled, but uh, there is the data card. And then let's take a look at the figure itself. So here is the Dark Flash. So I don't know anything about this character. They haven't showed him in the trailers, so I have no idea if this is an accurate representation of what is in the movie. Uh, but just based on the figure and the design, not not a fan of this design just because it looks like he's made of tree bark or he's like a lava monster. Doesn't look like any of the Flash's villains that I'm aware of, so not I don't think it's comic book accurate to any of the reverse Flashes or Dark Flashes or, you know, those type of characters. So not a fan of the design. Just looks like some kind of um, monster that could be in any movie doesn't look like a flash specific villain so I'll, I'll hold off judgment on it more until i see the movie um hopefully at least it's a good representation of what's in the movie um other than that i think just for the figure itself and you know mcfarland doesn't have any control over the, the designs of these movie characters but i love i love the detailing of this figure all the you know sculpting that went into this guy is fantastic i i think it looks great for for the figure i like the the way this like looks like kind of like hair a little bit there, but um, yeah. So again, it's really hard to comment because I don't know what this is supposed to look like. But I think McFarland did a great job with this figure. It looks like a cool monster at least. Uh, there's the articulation on it, so good range of motion. Not too much motion on the on the shoulders, obviously because of the, the sculpting. You know, good range of motion on the neck, but yeah. So this is fine. I mean, it's uh, it looks like just some sort of rando monster. And, you know, just from that, I like the, the posing you can make with him. I like the way the arms kind of come down here. And you can make some interesting poses with it. So there's that. But, yeah, definitely, you know, not my most favorite figure of this wave just because I know nothing about the character. But I think they did a great job of creating this figure. The sculpting looks great. I like the paint applications on the, the head there and the chest. But, again... Without knowing what the character really looks like, no idea if this is accurate at all to the character. So there he is. There is the Dark Flash. Let's put him back over here. All right, next we have Supergirl. Here is her trading card. Lovely trading card. Love the suit. It is Kara zor according to the trading card. And um, yeah, I love the suit. I love the Man of Steel-esque Superman logo, so that looks fantastic. She does come with an extra set of hands and this lovely flight stand. So let's take a look at this figure. So does she look like the actress? I think kind of, maybe a little bit. I don't think it's a perfect one-to-one -one representation, but I mean, it reminds me of her. So I think that's a win in my book. Honestly, I don't care too much about how accurate the face sculpts look to the characters. You know, it doesn't bother me. So I know it is an area of contention among collectors that the, the figure look just like the, the character is supposed to represent. Fair criticism doesn't matter to me, but totally understand why it matters to a lot of people. But for me, I like this figure quite a bit. I love the design of the suit. Um, I like I love the plastic cape, actually. I like the way this cape is big and it makes some fun like flying poses with her. You can make some really cool... Uh, flight poses with her and her neck has a good good range of motion so that looks very like Henry Cavill soaring into the, the stratosphere for Man of Steel so I love that so I do like that they went with a plastic cape on this instead of a cloth goods cape in my opinion then you can see the texture of the suit you have some of that line work that you can see on the trading card. I do wish it was more like the trading card and had that like silver metallic blue running down it that would have been cool but um, all in all I'm fine with this figure. I like it a lot. I think it's a good representation, for me anyways, of the character in the movies. But hey, if you want it to look more like the, the actress, totally understand that criticism as well. But for me, I like this figure quite a bit. I, I love this version of Kara 
and you know, I know she's not the traditional version, but um, I think she looks great. I'm excited to see her more in the movie. I loved what I've seen from the trailer so far. So yeah, I really like this figure. I think it looks great. It looks awesome on the flight stand. I wish all these figures came with flight stands, in my opinion. Um, I know they, all, they don't fly, so I guess it makes sense why they all don't. But I just love these McFarlane flight stands. All right, next up we have Batfleck, which I've already reviewed in another video. He comes with an extra set of hands, uh, closed-fisted, open-fisted. Uh, not much more I want to... I don't want to spend too much time on this because I've already reviewed it. So obviously this figure is probably based on some pre-production artwork. Uh, that was done before they got access to the movie, the actual footage. And this happens all the time. I remember back in the day, many movie action figures looked different from what you actually saw in the the film, the final film. Uh, so very common. Unfortunate, of course, I would like to have seen an accurate representation of this figure. But honestly, I like this color scheme way more than what I saw in the trailer. Uh, the blue and gray, I love a traditional blue and gray Batman, but for me, it didn't work and what I saw in the trailer <clears throat> just looked a little odd. So I actually prefer this color scheme, even if it's not accurate. Um, as far as the figure, again, the face doesn't look like Ben Affleck. Looks fine. Looks like Batman. I like the, the cowl. It looks good. Uh, like that it has a thigh swivel, which, of course, is convenient for him to sit on his bike. And then it's nice that he comes with only these open, open hands, but the closed-fisted hands as well. So I like the design of this figure. I like the sculpt and the... The armor detailing uh, just again wish it was accurate to the movie and hopefully they'll do another one now that the movie is almost coming out with uh, the actual blue and gray color scheme uh, if you want to hear more of my thoughts on this figure and the bat cycle that he comes with check out the other review that I posted all right next up is probably my second favorite figure in the assortment this is the flash wearing a modified Batman returns suit so this is the I think the Barry Allen from Michael Keaton's world. So obviously, just looking at this figure, it doesn't look like he has a Flash costume at the beginning of the movie. And then he meets Batman with our, our Barry, and they make a suit for him out, out of a Batman Returns suit. So I just love the creativity of the suit. I mean, you can totally see the Bat emblem underneath the Flash emblem. I can just tell by this area here that it's the Batman Returns suit. So a lot, like most people have noticed that. Then the cowl with the shaved off ears is really neat. This looks like a visor, I think, but it doesn't flip over or anything like that. But yeah, this is just a super unique interesting figure so that's why i dig it he comes with these lightning bolt attach attachments which i never put on but that's what he comes with good range of motion with this figure since it doesn't have a lot of um armor or things like that so you can make some fun running poses with him so yeah this is definitely my second favorite figure out of the assortment just because of the creativity of the of the costume and what it is i just love that it's a repurposed batman return suit it's a it's a flash dressed up it's a batman dressed up as a flash almost and i think people have already started to customize this and uh, make a uh, regular batman figure using this suit as well you should um i think that's that's awesome so there you go that's my second favorite one next we have the star of the flash movie barry allen here so talking about the suit first of all uh, i love the design of this suit it's very new 52-esque i love the lightning bolt running throughout the suit i love that pattern so that's really neat i will say the trading card makes it look more metallic and as does what i've seen in the trailer just has more of a sheen to it uh, the figure does as well but it's i think a little too bright i wish it was almost maybe a shade darker and a little more metallic but other than that i think this is a really nice figure i love the line work that they did here the boots look great the the head sculpt is good i like the the lightning bolt is fine i wish it was sticking out like a traditional flash suit, but at least they incorporated it into the helmet. So he has the lightning bolts, but I guess it makes it more aerodynamic that they're not sticking out. So that's cool. Uh, the logo looks good and it's the flash. I think it looks great. And you have a lot of range of motion here with the articulation. So you can make some fun running poses with the flash. And there's the back of it there. So yeah, I'm very happy with the figure. I love the belt. Makes me think of Wally West. Um, because he always had this sort of belt that didn't connect in the middle, so that's really nice. And yeah, I think this is a great figure. It looks like the Flash from the movie, and I think I think it works. Again, I wish it was a shade darker, but other than that, 
I do like this figure quite a bit. All right, let's get him back on the peg. And he does come with lightning bolt attachments as well. All right, next up, the star of the Flash movie, Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton, Batman. I think this is the most exciting part of the Flash movie, you know, strangely enough, is Michael Keaton back as Batman. It's just, for, for a whole generation and more, this is our Batman. This is still my favorite Batman. Michael Keaton is still the Sean Connery of Batman for me. He's the best. Uh, so having him back in action is awesome. And I love what they've done with the suit. I love the design of the suit. It looks like a natural progression of his suit from the movies. So I think it looks great. I'm still a fan of the 89 suit. It's still my favorite suit with the more beastly look to it with like sculpted abs to make it look like it was a, a person or a beast or something like that. This is definitely more armor plated like his return suit, but it looks great. I, I got no complaints, guys. It looks amazing. As for the figure, he's got a little side eye action going on. Side eye is back. Don't know why they brought it back for Michael Keaton, but it's fine. I wish it was, he was looking dead on, but other than that, I still love the figure. You will notice the ears are like rounded off. Don't know why they did that. Uh, it doesn't bother me too much. You can't really notice it in the in images and photos and things like that. So it's fine for me. Just wish they were straight, but that's a, that's a quibble. Love the, the helmet or the mask. Love the bat symbol. The belt looks great. A lot of people are saying they wish it was yellow. I can see that. I mean, that would make more sense for it to look yellow like his actual suit um, from the 89 movie. But I'm fine with this as well. And he does come with this nice cloth goods cape. You know, cloth goods, I, I like it. For some figures, don't for others. Like, I'm glad Supergirl doesn't have a cloth goods cape. Um, I, but for Michael Keaton, I think this works. I think this looks great, and you can make some really fun bat poses with this cape. So, yeah, good range of motion as well with the articulation. That looks really nice. You can make some fun poses. The, the boots have this green wash to them. I don't know if it's dirt or fading or what it is. Curious to see if that ends up in the movie. But uh, that camo army green does seem to be prevalent in this figure and the bat, uh, bat like figure as well. So, yeah, he does come with an uh, extra set of hands and also his grappling gun, which you can see there, hopefully, and then a batarang as well. So there's that. And finally, I've already reviewed this unmasked Michael Keaton, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. The exact same figure as the one I just showed you, except it has Michael Keaton unmasked. For me, this works. It looks like Michael Keaton, in my opinion. You know, it's, of course, not the, you know, it's 20 bucks, so it's not going to be the most accurately, accurate looking thing in the world. But for me, it works. It looks like Michael Keaton. It doesn't not look like Michael Keaton. I know a lot of people are saying he looks more like Ray Liotta and things like that. I could see it. But for me, I'm happy with this figure. It looks like Michael Keaton, in my opinion. And uh, I'm glad I, I purchased this. This is a Target exclusive, so look for him at Target stores. So there you go. All right, and that's about it, my friends. So there is a look at all of the Flash figures. I know I breezed through that. I will be posting more content on my Instagram channel, Ahsoka the Geek. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more comparisons with other figures and more group shots, all that good stuff. Uh, so please uh, check out my Instagram channel. Uh, if you watch this review, thanks for watching the whole thing and sticking with it. Uh, I appreciate your support and your time as always. Thank you and have a great day.